Ever thought about what makes a country dangerous? Our planet is a tapestry of cultures, landscapes, and histories. Yet, amidst this diversity, some nations stand out, not for their picturesque beauty or rich heritage, but for the perils they present. We're about to take a into the heart of these nations, each with its unique blend of factors contributing to their dangerous status. From regions scarred by the relentless drumbeats of war, to lands grappling with political instability and rampant crime, we will uncover the truths that lie beneath the surface. We'll explore the intricate puzzle of why some places on our planet are fraught with danger, while others flourish in peace. We'll unravel the complexities, the causes, and the consequences. So buckle up and prepare for an insightful journey. Let's delve into the mysteries and unveil the enigma of these perilous nations. Embarking on our journey with the 10th most dangerous country, Afghanistan. A land where the shadow of war has loomed large for decades, Afghanistan's narrative is one painted with the brushstrokes of conflict and strife. The constant hum of unrest, fueled by the presence of militant groups, reverberates through the hills and valleys of this rugged nation. This has created an environment where uncertainty is the only certainty, and danger, an unwelcome but constant companion. Adding to this volatile mix is the indelible impact of foreign interventions. The great powers of the world have left their footprints in the sands of Afghanistan, each intervention a chapter in its tumultuous history. These actions have not only shaped the country's present, but will continue to influence its future. A country embroiled in war, Afghanistan stands as a symbol of relentless conflict. Its story, a stark reminder of the destructive power of war, continues to echo across the globe. Next on our list is Syria, a land marked by the scars of a devastating civil war. This once vibrant nation is now a haunting portrait of ruin and despair. The civil war, a complex web of conflict involving various factions and foreign powers, has led to extreme human suffering. Widespread destruction and a massive refugee crisis are among the visible scars etched onto the face of Syria. The war isn't just an internal affair, it's a global quagmire, pulling in nations near and far, each with their own agendas and interests. This international involvement only adds more layers to the already convoluted conflict, making it harder to untangle. And while the world watches, Syrians are caught in the crossfire, their lives forever altered by a war that seems to have no end. The complexities of this war, the regional and global implications, and the immense human toll transform Syria into a perilous landscape. Moving on to South Sudan, the world's youngest nation and a battlefield of ethnic conflicts. Emerging from the shadow of Sudan in 2011, South Sudan was born amidst high hopes for peace and prosperity. Yet it quickly descended into a maelstrom of violence and political rivalries. Ethnic tensions, amplified by political power struggles, have ignited a cycle of violence that seems to have no end. The nation's struggle for peace is a dance between progress and setback, between hope and despair. Attempts to establish a stable government have been thwarted by infighting and corruption. Resources that could be used to build infrastructure and provide essential services are instead consumed by the ongoing conflict. The world watches as South Sudan grapples with these enormous challenges. Caught in a tug of war between its past and its potential, the country's quest for peace is a journey filled with obstacles. A nation in its infancy, South Sudan's struggle for stability is a daunting challenge. Yemen, often termed the Forgotten War, is our next stop. This Arabian Peninsula nation is embroiled in a conflict with deep regional implications. It's a war that involves not just Yemen's own factions, but also powerful regional players, creating a volatile mix of alliances and interests. The human cost of this conflict is staggering. Infrastructure has been decimated, leaving millions without access to basic necessities like clean water and medical care. The result? A catastrophic humanitarian crisis. Famine looms over the population, and diseases, thought to be relics of the past, now stalk the land. But despite the severity of the situation, the world's attention often seems to drift elsewhere, leaving Yemen's crisis largely overlooked. It's a tragic tale of a nation caught in a cycle of violence and despair, with no clear end in sight. A desperate nation, Yemen's conflict is a tragic tale often overlooked. Next, we turn to the Horn of Africa, to the lawless lands of Somalia. This East African nation is a stark example of what can happen when effective governance collapses. For years, Somalia has been in a state of anarchy, with no central authority to maintain order or deliver essential services. This power vacuum has given rise to a host of militant groups, each vying for control and exerting their rule through fear and violence. 
From the notorious Al-Shabaab to smaller local factions, these groups contribute to the ongoing instability and danger that characterizes Somalia. But the threats don't stop at the nation's borders. Off the coast of Somalia, the specter of piracy looms large, casting a shadow over international waters. These pirates, often driven by desperation and lack of alternatives, pose a significant risk to global shipping routes. A case of a failed state, Somalia's anarchy presents a perilous picture. This is the reality for the people of Somalia, living under the weight of unending chaos and uncertainty. Our journey takes us next to the Central African Republic, a nation divided. Here, the specter of sectarian violence looms large, casting a shadow over the land. Religious and ethnic groups are locked in a bitter struggle, each vying for control of the nation's valuable resources. Political upheaval is a common theme in this tormented nation, where power is fragile and often short-lived. A revolving door of leadership, marked by frequent coups and counter-coups, adds to the uncertainty that pervades the country. Yet perhaps the most chilling aspect of the Central African Republic's tale is the widespread human rights abuses. Stories of extrajudicial killings, forced labor, and sexual violence are tragically common, painting a grim picture of the reality many face. Marked by instability, the Central African Republic stands as one of Africa's most hazardous places. We now turn our attention to Libya, a country grappling with post-revolution turmoil. In the wake of Gaddafi's fall, Libya has been marred by deep divisions and the dominance of various militias. The country, once united under one banner, has now fragmented into several factions, each claiming its own territory and asserting control. This lack of a unified government has thrown the nation into a state of chaos, with power struggles and conflicts becoming a common occurrence. The central government's inability to maintain order has allowed militias to flourish, further destabilizing the region. These armed groups, often acting independently of one another, have created a volatile environment, making Libya a perilous destination, especially in regions outside government control. This situation has left the population in constant fear, with the threat of violence looming large. Caught in a cycle of violence, Libya's post-revolution turmoil underscores its danger. Next on our list is the Democratic Republic of Congo, a land of endless conflict. The DRC is a nation that has been continuously scarred by warfare, especially within its eastern provinces. These areas have become a hotbed for violence and strife, often fueled by ethnic tensions and the fight for control over the country's abundant natural resources. The battles, however, extend beyond the human realm. The DRC is also a battleground against nature, fighting deadly disease outbreaks like Ebola. These health crises, coupled with the ongoing conflict, create a perilous landscape that threatens the lives of the nation's inhabitants daily. In the DRC, the struggle for peace is as relentless as the conflict itself, with the toll of human suffering continuing to rise. It's a nation caught in a cycle of violence and disease, a cycle that shows no sign of letting up. A land marred by conflict and disease, the DRC presents an alarming picture. We now venture into Iraq, a nation dealing with the aftermath of war. Iraq's landscape is marked by the echoes of past conflicts, a chilling reminder of its turbulent history. Sectarian violence, an insidious legacy of these wars, continues to fester, unearthing deep-seated divisions among its culturally diverse population. This discord has often spilled over into the streets, painting a picture of an unsettled nation. Yet the specter of terror remains the most daunting challenge. Despite the fall of ISIS, the threat of terrorism lingers, casting a long shadow over Iraq's future. With extremist ideologies still finding fertile ground, the country remains on high alert. The fight against terrorism is not just a battle of guns and bombs, but a complex struggle to eradicate the roots of extremism. Despite significant challenges, Iraq continues its struggle toward stability, a testament to the resilience of its people in the face of adversity. Finally, we arrive in Venezuela, a nation caught in a whirlwind of collapse and chaos. Once one of the wealthiest countries in South America, Venezuela has seen a rapid and dramatic decline in its fortunes. This downfall is largely due to a combination of political mismanagement and corruption, leading to an economic collapse that has had a devastating impact on the lives of its people. The country's economy has been in a freefall, with hyperinflation rendering its currency virtually worthless. This economic turmoil has led to significant social unrest, as citizens struggle to afford basic necessities. Crime rates have soared, as desperation pushes people to extreme measures. 
A severe humanitarian crisis has unfolded, with shortages of food, medicine, and other essential supplies. The political landscape is no less tumultuous, with power struggles and widespread corruption exacerbating the situation. Caught in a vicious cycle of turmoil, Venezuela tops our list of the most dangerous countries in the world. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the world's most dangerous countries. Each scene we've explored paints a picture of human struggle, resilience, and the urgent need for change. Yet, amidst the chaos, there are stories of hope, of individuals and communities striving to make a difference. We encourage you to share your thoughts and comments on this video. What can we as global citizens do to help these countries rise from the ashes of conflict and chaos? How can we lend our voices to those who are often unheard? If you found this video insightful, please consider subscribing to our channel for more content that seeks to enlighten and inform. Together we can foster a community that is not just aware of global issues, but is also committed to making a positive impact. Stay safe, stay informed, and remember, even in the darkest corners of the world, there is always a beacon of hope. We'll see you in the next video.